Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on honouring the Lord. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It is time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now as you are and surrender yourself to his mighty power and love at work within you. Father, thank you that I can come as I am tonight and simply rest in your presence. Speak through tonight's scripture to strengthen my heart and bless me with your peace. Second Samuel chapter 23 verses 14 to 16 say, At that time, David was in the stronghold and the Philistine garrison was at Bethlehem. David longed for water and said, Oh, that someone would get me a drink of water from the well near the gate of Bethlehem. So the three mighty warriors broke through the Philistine lines, drew water from the well near the gate of Bethlehem and carried it back to David. But he refused to drink it. Instead, he poured it out before the Lord. When setting up camp outside the city, David remarked how good the water was from Bethlehem's well. Three of his soldiers overheard him and broke through the enemy lines to draw a cup of it for him. When they gave the water to David, he refused to drink it. Instead, he poured it out before the Lord. What was David thinking? For him, that cup of water had become priceless because the warriors had been prepared to sacrifice their lives for it. Yet only one deserved such a precious gift. By pouring out the water as an offering, David devoted his men's heroism to God rather than to himself. For David, the most precious things should always be offered to the Lord. Like David, offer your first place of honour to God tonight. He is worthy of the very best you have. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our 
Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in and out. And in. Let's pray. Loving God, when I serve, help me to remember that my sacrifice is for you. When I benefit from the selfless love of others, may I be quick to glorify you as I honour them. Lord God, show me if I am giving the highest place of honour to anything or anyone else in my life. I want you alone on the throne of my heart. Revelation chapter 7 verses 11 to 12 say They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God saying Amen Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honour and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever Amen Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, you alone deserve all the honour, glory and praise. My life is yours. Every blessing you have poured out in my life, I offer back in worship to you. Amen.